The second way to open is with the, the, the wrist bone of your, uh, of your left hand, like this. And you're going to use this part of your fingers like a hook. And then that way, you can actually engage your shoulder like that. But, you, but notice I've got my body over here out of the way to make, it, to make that possible. Again, this is just, there's, there's more than one way to throw. And the, the, these are the two ways, parallel thumbs or the wrist palm way. In both cases, you need to pause and measure before you go to the next step. Our next step is compressing. So compressing happens in t at two points. The first compression happens when I'm shaping the bottom of the bowl. Notice how close to the wheel head this donut of clay is. It's maybe an inch and a half from the from the wheel head. And notice how wide it is. It's like five inches in diameter. Once I've made the shape of the bottom of the bowl with my fingertips, um, these four fingers pulling toward me like this, once I've compressed the clay that way, I'm going to go right on to the next step, which is called collaring. Collaring is what it sounds like. You're gathering up the clay with your hands and making the shape um, that gumdrop shape again, only now it has an opening. Here's where I do the second compression. I want the rim to be a uniform thickness, so I'm going to gather the clay with my index finger and thumb with my left hand, and I'm going to push down with either my palm or my fingers on the top, and I just hold it there until that donut shape is, isn't wobbly, like, you know, going up and down or thick and thin like that. 